Wonderful darling babies, it is Monday again, and we have ourselves another episode of Mostly Walking treated by no green screen. That's what's been Damn. behind me all this time. Wow. wow. Ooh, is that I'm... a shower curtain? It is. In fact, no, I it's bathe, just a curtain curtain. And, and you can see the neon lights <laughs> emanating from the inside of the shower right here. Because I only take showers uh, as though it's Cyberpunk 2077. All right. Uh, well, hey, wow. I'm Sean Plot, And I'm Lee Grainer. Hello. And I'm Sean Bouchard. And today we are going to mostly walk our way onward in the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, where... Hell yeah. Yeah. The long and short of the last time we played is that we did a bunch of errands to get milk. And upon getting milk, we were able to go to the, you know, the Lord... Penswick, I almost called him Pinklewick. Um, you know, yeah, L Lord Pinklewick. Um, <laughs> Lord he, Pinkwick. Yep. Because he has the hots for our character, mm -hmm. he was willing to donate to us his crew for the day, and also this woman hates us. This is the this is Mrs. Uh, Fenchurch. Yeah. Mrs. Oh Ms. yeah, Fenchurch. she's very mm -hmm. aggressively mm -hmm. hates us. Oh yeah. Now, rather than dilly dally, I'm kind of in the mood to pop right into the game. But I we can do that. Yeah, I, let's let's just hold our breath and get the fuck into there. I want to yeah. get in that barrow, Sean. Are you? Do you want to get into the barrow? Now, now this is this is something I'm, that I I bet I bet there's about there's a few thousand people in mostly walking, and I have the data to, to show this that scrub right past everything we say at the start and go right to where the game begins, where it shows on that's the opposite of my parents. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's. They, they represent the other cutoff. Yeah, so so like yep. in um, let me actually get MS Paint going here. Um, <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah, so let me. I'm gonna turn off. This, this is one. what you meant by get right into the game. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where, yeah, yeah. Where get in there. Is the, where is this? Is it just not gonna show it? No. Dang. I can't actually. Damn. Show it. Yeah. Well, let, let me let me actually show it like huh. this then. Yeah. So like well, you you have oh, these. Whoa. Perfect. You, you have engagement graphs on YouTube that basically show what percentage of people are like tuned in over time. And yep. so like if, if you have like a, a pretty typical view of or a viewership engagement looking graph of me like playing a game is like most everyone is tuned in at the start and then they just sort of dip down over time as they feel like they get the gist of it, you know. Um, mostly walking looks like this. It is like a completely Whoa. flat engagement. Whoa. People people skip the very very start, and then of course when, when the gameplay ends and we give our thoughts at the end. And here's here's the end of the video. This is what it oh always looks God. like. <laughs> Amazing. That's so yeah. wild because like I always think that this is the best part, but maybe that's just <laughs> oh oh oh. This is probably like podcast listeners are these ones. The people who like that fucking like that. Like most of the yeah. commentary in the YouTube comments is about. The nonsense at the yeah. start. I mean, most of the commentary yeah. in the YouTube comments is about me not uh, paying attention. And to them, I say, I am paying attention. It's just uh, the exchange rate is not, not always very good. Oh, yeah. When you're trying to make when you're trying to make jokey jokes and you're playing. I don't wish to provoke her. These games. It's a bit like controlling the velocity and the rotation at once of a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> See, I, I actually have a theory. I have a theory that like the way that um, any community functions, whether it be a large community, like a big subreddit and what gets posted and upvoted there, or even like the sub community on mostly walking YouTube videos on day nine's YouTube. Like yeah. you, there is some core of it that is like the reason why everyone's there. And you will never, ever fucking ever see comments about that normal core anymore. You only have commentary and discussion yes. about the things that are in contrast to that core. Mm. So, you know, if you oh, go to fuck. like... That's such a good point. If you go to StarCraft subreddit, I have not seen a single comment about strategy in that fucking strategy game subreddit for, like, years. <laughs> like, I'm sure, wow. I'm sure it could dig, but it's just, like, a meme about how annoying a particular strategy is. Right? Because, right. again, it's not... It's Everyone yeah. knows that that strategy is really annoying, but I'm memeing about the thing on the other... Oh, God, look at it. And so... Uh, if no yeah. one's talking about something, that probably means that's the whole reason why they're there. That makes sense, because because why Whoa. would you have to say it? I, it's, that's what I posit. Like if you go if you go that is in, really yeah. interesting. If you go to slash that slash books, with... I bet no one's talking about fucking books, man. <laughs> 
I bet you. That, I'll that bet is, it right now. That fits in with one of my favorite things, which is the uh, if it was true, you wouldn't have to say it thing. Yeah. Where when people describe their, they describe their organization as like, well, like Mark Bolas talked about this too, where it's like advertising your worst flaws. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, I always think about it as in terms of like, like, let's say that an organization calls itself Forward Thinking Incorporated. <laughs> the one thing you know about it is that they have to say it's forward thinking because that's the only evidence you'll ever find that it is actually forward thinking. That is the least forward thinking place. Otherwise, oh, they wouldn't have yeah. to say it. Yeah. Oh, that's you know? yeah. So if you're forward thinking incorporated, you go, oh, that guy's fucking not forward thinking. Like, is that like, right. okay. yeah, yeah. Britain yeah. Brit made the same point with whenever someone says, I promise that actually means oh. they're probably not going to fucking do it. Like if I say to you, yeah. Hey, thanks for lending me that thing. I'll bring it back to you next Saturday. I promise. Like, I mean, yes, like, yes, and that gets you wait, into the wait, male, wait, that wait, gets yeah. into the that's that gets you into the male feminist trope where it's like, um, there was God, there was this YouTube where somebody was going through and really quickly assigning the political ideations of like different Mario Kart characters, um, and he got to he got to Waluigi and he just said male feminist and it was like, <laughs> it's not true. Like it's cool. It's oh, great. God. It's great to be a male feminist. The problem is when you kids. lead with that. Yeah, when you when you have right. to say yeah. when you have to explain it. <laughs> it's like, Dude, it's yeah. so funny. But yeah, ideally, no, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, if if I was just like Sean, I'm gonna bring you that back on Saturday. He'd be like, cool. But the instant I say, yeah. I promise. What it means is that there is now a a probability. That I will not bring that shit back. You saying yes. I promise is a strong indicator that this is uh, atypical behavior. Yeah. Right? Like. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, I know now that you have a history of not bringing things back on Saturday. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so uh, just so everyone knows, we did a bunch of questing again to be able to get the crew to help us excavate Hobbs Barrow. And we are now, I believe, ready to go to I bed. Nothing else. We're ready to go Amazing. to bed. It's time to progress Amazing. this story. And most of the way, the story. Too much to do today to waste time sleeping. Are you nope. fucking kidding me? You are. You are wrong. You All are right. Wrong well, about that. For any of you who want to know what's happening, we have a to-do list. Beule. Beule. Oh, we've probably used this workman. Um, if I can provide him with Bakewell puddings made by Mrs. Deplancy. Oh my fuck! Okay. Such folly. You know, um, is that why we need the milk? No, no, I mean, like this is this is the. Okay, so we've talked about this before. In an adventure game, here's here's a structure that feels good. You are in area A, and there's a locked door. You solve some stuff in area A, it opens it up. You're in area B, and then. Everything you need to do to solve area B is in area B, and you get through door B. Get to door C, right? Like, this is... This game has a, a quality that we don't like in adventure games, which is do stuff in door A, and you open up the locked door, and there's another locked door right there. And it's yeah, like, yeah. surprise! You're not fucking done, are you? <laughs> like, we need we needed to get some milk in order to get to the Penswick estate without being shot. We did it. And it's like, ah! You know, it goes well with milk. Bakewell puddings. Like, okay, mm. I have a theory. Yeah, tell because me. in screenwriting, you learn about um, uh, 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 what, what would this be called? Like foreshadowing the climax, right? A lot of scripts are written in a structure where, from the inciting incident, the audience understands what the climax of the movie is going to be. Uh, mm. This is this this is. Rocky is going to end with Rocky Balboa in a ring boxing whatever the fuck the other dude is. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, we need to that, solve a yeah. murder. The murder's going to get right? solved in the end. Yeah. At the end of the movie, we're going to solve the murder, right? We know from the beginning what the, what the climax is going to look like. And I think that what's happening here is that excavating Hobbs Barrow is the climax of this game. But the game accidentally presented it as though that were the inciting incident. So we oh. keep expecting to excavate Hobbs Barrow. It's not going to happen until the end of the game. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I have. I, yeah, no, I feel like ex Yeah, 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 because it's like finding the body is when you say, "Yo, we have a murder to solve." But I feel like what we are doing is going through a bunch of hoops to find the body. That's what I feel like I'm doing because I'm like, okay, now what's going to be blown off yeah. the lid? Ah, I do have a very so this is. I have trust issues, Sean, because Sean B, because mm. you know what else? What other game had a title that promised? No, I did. Promised uh, yes. something. We, we, oh I'm, my God! Siberia. Don't, don't Siberia. I, dare. I know. Siberia. I remember. I'm very concerned <clears throat> that what will happen is that the first shovel uh, that listen. we put into the earth on Hobbs Barrow, <laughs> then the credits will roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying this is a positive trait. I'm not even necessarily okay. trying to defend the game. It's a problem that the game, if this is indeed what the structure is, right? Like if my theory is okay. correct, it's a serious problem that the game has not properly set those expectations that we think we're supposed to be starting out by excavating Hobbs Barrow. And in fact, the game expects us to get there at the end of the, at the end of the story. Yeah. Like, that's a serious flaw, if that's indeed what's happening. Yeah. Um, it doesn't excuse it, but that is my theory about what is happening, is that we've gotten it into our heads Yeah. for various reasons that the game has presented us, that, you know, we're going to start excavating Hobbs Barrow, and that's yeah. where we're going to find a mystery that then we're going to solve, and that's what the game is going to be. I think we're going to get in there and find, like, an eldritch horror, and it's going to suck us into another universe, and that's the end. be able to bake me some more? Dude, that is such a good point. That often happens to us, doesn't it? There's just Eldritch Horror hits the screen and then the credits roll. I mean, we've been we've been burned that way before too. True, it's true. I'm so sorry to hear that. He's in God's hands now. Please give me your puddings. Were you married to Albert a long time? Yeah, the the plot of this game is stuck in pre-production. He was a cobbler here in Bewley. The most he were. cobbler in all of England, I used to tell him. Did she just say gobbler? <sighs> Love is precious, pet. <laughs> There's not the kind of place the hole it leaves Oh here my at. god, he was such a gobbler. I can relate to that in my own way. I wish you strength in this difficult time. Thank you. With God's blessing, I'll get by. But give me your puddings. Yeah, no, I mean, Sean, I, think, please. I think this is a brilliantly Yo, made Because, like, you know, uh, like, an example that I like to use in terms of expectation management is yeah. if I, like, tomorrow night, I don't have anything planned. And if, you know, Brett and I sit down, watch a movie, it's going to be great. Right? Fine night, normal. Happens all the time. But if I said, honey, I want to take you out on a date on Tuesday mm. night. She goes, really? I'm like, yeah. We've been on a date in a long time. I know oh, just God. the spot. Okay. And then imagine I woke up uh, that morning and went, hey, you know what? I'm actually feeling tired. Let's just stay in tonight. Like, yeah. I've actually yep. created yep. expectation and removed it. And if we still just watched the same movie we would have watched anyways, I caused some harm, not because I... Right. <laughs> Uh, not because it was a bad night, but because I created the Not because that behavior was harmful, right? Like, yeah. that activity, that night w was fine. Like, that was baseline. Yeah. It, like, and and the disappointment is the gap between what happened and the right. expectation. And, yeah. like, I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. there are so many games that fall into this category. It's, I think, the reason why I didn't like Dark Souls the first few times I played it, because I was expecting that it's about progression. I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be, like, leveling up and getting strong and, like... I'm hardly getting stronger when I do level up. And it's like, no, Sean, it's about you becoming triumphant in your own skill, which is not actually how most RPGs work. It's kind of how the Souls games work. And mm. if your expectations align with that, you're able to have a lot of, a, like, way more fun and a more precise form of fun. Because, mm -hmm. like, if I'm mm -hmm. watching a just, you know, comedy, if there's a jump scare, I get mad. Because I'm right. like, dude, what is this doing here? Like, this, this is the wrong right. thing. Anyways, I'm going to ask her about her puddings again. Who you have set aside the puddings for? <laughs> MR 92 said, oh boy, are we back to mental moths? <laughs> yeah, it's a nightmare here. Look, tomorrow. look, Won't they be off we only have a few not at all. topics. Besides, pet, as I told you, I'm not in the mood As it should be. This. Sorry, miss. Thanks for your... Lord. I'm not in the, the reason mood for baking chatter... 
Like, it's such a specific thing to not be in the mood for. So here's the thing: the is reason... that I actually didn't realize oh, we needed to convince her to bake puddings. I thought that we were going to have to take the oh. puddings from someone else. Uh, well, uh, Sean, okay, the thing I've that learned about this then. game, the thing I've learned about this game is that whenever you think you're going to make progress, instead you're going to get two more That's fractal uh, in-between tasks. Yeah. So, like, open the door this becomes... Uh, the, then the door knob breaks and it becomes fix the doorknob. And then it becomes find the screws to fix the doorknob. And so on and so forth. I really don't want to... I mean, I hear you. I, I just think that we are exaggerating a little bit how unique this game is in that. Like, there's a fair bit of that in Monkey Island, Lee, where I, I'm yeah, taking a but... quest, right? Like, but, I know what but, my quest okay. is, and now here are obstacles. The thing is with that, and I know this is not... There's nothing else. I'm going to do to you, Sean, exactly what The Daily Show did to, I think what John Stewart did to Tucker Carlson and say, okay. yes, but Monkey Island is a comedy where that's part of the shtick. Mm, Dude, actually, that's, 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 that's a good just, point. That's just a good point, a actually. Point. You know what? Yeah. You know, we're yeah. no Tuckers here. We're, we're people that go, ah, actually well stated. Yeah, no, I think that there is a, if there's absurdity, yeah. you have to, or there's the absurdity of, I need to solve this puzzle. Hey, there's another thing in the way of solving that. Oh, no. That is absurd. There's a fundamental absurdity that exists, and how do you deal with that? As long mm. as you make a decision uh -huh. about it, I'm generally fine, right? Because if you go, huh, well, of course. Of course, he just needs to get, you know, teeth on his wrench. Makes sense. You know, if the characters are saying goofy things like Guybrush Streepwood does, then yeah. it, it almost makes or, it, it... It's just nothing acknowledged. nothing else I wish yeah. to discuss at the moment. Or if there was a narrative else. thing in this one about how difficult it is to get things done in this town, you know? Yeah. Like, that right. could be... Like, there was a movie, uh, the movie U-Turn, which I don't know anything about it other than that I watched it one time because somebody showed it to me. And the whole premise of that movie is that this guy gets stuck in a small town because everything he tries to do goes wrong. And, uh... The cross denotes this as it's amazing it's because funny. the movie's called U-Turn and that's all that happens and you're just like mm -hmm. how many more twists and disappointments can there be and it's like really well done you know mm -hmm. relative are you no just looking he with a cobbler who's going to mend me boots now <laughs> hmm ah! hmm Hello? does this fresh grave belong to mrs to plancy's late husband Aye. Rather bare, isn't it? My job is to dig the graves, not decorate them. Goodbye. There are. There. So you're saying that somebody so we need to decorate planted the grave. Mr. DePlancy. <laughs> like into the ground. <laughs> and then I, I, so as I made that joke, I was realizing that the word for plant is also just yeah. plant. Like, is that <laughs> what they're called? That? I saw your late husband's grave, Mrs. DePlancy. I am very sorry for your loss. Thank you, pet. I'm ashamed to God's say I couldn't back. afford no more than a simple wooden cross. You were a colorful uh, man, our Albert. Technically, I think that should be better. couldn't afford out he more. Loved his flower beds. He's only been gone a fortnight, and already his plants have gone to rot. May the Lord forgive me. Plants are difficult to maintain. I mean, well, I'm we sure don't. Albert would understand. He's we're here on Pimp Your Grave! I would have Hippie Astro. To lay one on his grave. Hippie Astro. Yes, it's a Hippie Astro and an is. egg. What does a Hippie Astrum flower look like? Oh, beautiful things they are. Tall stems topped with large red flowers. Hard okay, to I better grow remember in this that. climate. They were his pride and joy. The remarkable thing is there's no scent to him. That's why he loved them so much. You see, he hated anything that smelled sickly sweet. Okay, so we need to... <laughs> oh, that's ironic. Just perfect. Let me know if now you come he smells one. probably. Of course, Mrs. DePlancy. All right, now, now th this is this is where this is where we have we have a choice. Do we go find some hippie astrum, or do we yeah. go get a white flower, dunk it in something red, and then right. it, poison her right, right. so Fuck. she can't smell anymore? <laughs> So she thinks Yo, it's a heavy astrum, so she does what is we this fucking need her to do. Thanks for your yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right. Well, can we just please, like, can we just please take a vote? Do you think we, A, need to find the hippie astrum, or B, do you think we need to manufacture a fake one? Oh, it's fucking right here. I think we need to find they a hippie astrum. They smell rather strong. They can't be the scentless flower Mrs. De Plancy wants. I, I'm going to vote for I think we have to create one, like a fake one. Fucking hell. I think you're, okay. But it's right down the middle for me on this. I mean, it's close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go explore this way. But usually, in an adventure game, when something has two to three like characteristics, it means you have right. to create it out of like lint and like <laughs> the piece of string. Dude, <laughs> that's actually such a great bit for backer quest, which we're we can talk about. <laughs> it's now. back on, baby. It's back backer on, quest baby. is back. <laughs> Look, we've learned a thing or two about crowdfunding. First of all, is that it is always community exploitation, but that's got to be okay. Look, Dude, that just see, happens I, to be fine. I think I think the way that we made... Uh, listen, from the very moment that you put your money behind back request, we have puzzles for you, right? We send yeah. emails. Yeah. We're like, we would love to give you the next update to back request. But first, we need something that's red and doesn't <laughs> smell and a boring grave to put it on. Those are the three things you need to find. Wait, and if you can, can if we you can reveal us, that? Yeah. Can we? Re we can reveal now why Paxton, we stopped talking about backer quest, right? I mean, it was yeah, Monkey yeah. Island. I mean, it's up to you. I think Link. it was because I was told, I was told that Monkey Island was like there was only a few people who could have spoiled it, the the reveal, and I didn't want to be that person because I didn't want to be fired from my career by Disney. Yeah, so I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. guys, can we please put the kibosh on talking about making adventure games? The yeah. reason, no reason, <laughs> like yeah, no, 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 like yeah, because um. <laughs> You know, for any of you that that don't know, there is like there are things that happen in entertainment where like let's say I'm trying to pick like a really good example of a game that just kind of came out of nowhere. Okay, let, let let's take Apex Legends, right? Apex Legends is a battle royale game that came out uh, from a notable developer. And let's imagine that we had a show where the three of us were playing games that were first-person shooters, and one of us was working on that Battle Royale game, Apex Legends. If one of us yeah. is like, dude, we should make a Battle Royale game where XYZ is happening, and this is going on. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if there was a Battle Royale like this? Any information... That's a minefield. Yeah, yeah. Any, any information is Tinder for people to go, hey, wait a minute. That person was talking a ton about making a Battle Royale game. Maybe they're working on a battle royale game over at Respawn, and then they could like do so and create a thread. Hey, is anyone working on the, uh, you know, battle royale at Respawn? And, and you know, it's way harder to deal with speculation when you've shared no information, because the whole point is that there wasn't any information that was supposed to be shared. And so, like, just just as a safety precaution, Leo's like, let's just not talk about. And no, you didn't even explain well, to also, us. You just said, hey, I mean, you know, no, yeah, I just said we didn't I, know the you other were thing, on. right? Because I'm very good no, at secret you're very good. But there, the other part of it is um, you don't want to accidentally be talking about, oh, it'd be funny if that game had a purple couch with a dinosaur on it. And then then accidentally I'm like in a meeting and I'm like, oh, hey, purple couch and dinosaur. I just came up with that. And then like the game launches and somebody's like, that was actually my idea. And I'm going to like sue you because, right, right, right. you know, intellectual property can be litigious. Yeah. So you don't want to, you just don't want to. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just like cooking not to talk you want to just I keep just your did. like imagine that your work life is the it's the cutting board where you're cutting the raw chicken like mm. you just want to keep that yeah. contained yeah you, yeah wash your hands when you leave wash your hands before you go in just yes. just really quick before it, it passes us by i want to call out randomino5 uh, uh who suggested Will the Kickstarter oh, for the back some. request air? Will there be a Kickstarter for the back request ARG? And <laughs> can we design the puzzles if we contribute to it? And I think this is a really good idea. <laughs> I mean, okay, can I just. I, I've come to realize that the only way that crowdfunding is not community exploitation is if everyone also owns it. I was realizing this about Stone Soup. Like, the, the parable of stone soup is only egalitarian if everyone ends up owning the soup in the end. So what I'm going to say is if you contribute to Backer Quest, you're going to get that much 
uh, you're going to get a share of ownership. There's nothing else I we want. won't own it at all. Just well, all of you backers will own it, However, which means you also have to make all the decisions. Yeah, no, that's that's why backer quest is great because people are in charge of this game. If it's bad, it's on them. And I love having no <laughs> yeah. responsibility. Uh, yes, and then what we'll do is we'll pass around a hat at the end. There will be a party. There will be a launch party, and then the three of us will come hat in hand to you guys and say, please, with your profits on this game, please <laughs> give us buy us dinner, won't you? We're, we'll be like unexecutive non-producers. We'll just be, we will be not related at all to the project. And we'll set up an email address so that when someone emails it, it just blasts it out to everyone. Else. It just makes a public uh, open letter. And whenever you email us, <laughs> we don't read it. Email us. <laughs> it, dude, it's as, just... far as, look, as, as far as we know, you guys could already be halfway through done making a game. Re well done. I'm so proud of how you haven't included have us yet else. at all. Which is great. That's all I ask. I <laughs> Dude, I, 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 and by the way, what I'm doing now is I'm looking for any interactable, okay, any, great. any red flower at all. And God damn it! That is definitely Sean Bouchard's cousin outside. I know There's it is. Else. I have nothing. Just so much. It's actually not. I have no red-haired cousins. Really. Yeah. Really? Thing, I don't. We have no red-haired cousins. Yeah. The red hair ends Sean. with you. The Wait, red Sean hair Bouchard, ends with why me. does why does my hair look as red as your hair right now on this stream? Um, I'm. It's aerial diffusion. White balance? <laughs> aerial diffusion. <laughs> Must be white balance. I really don't want to. This yeah. Is, yeah, I think it's white balance. I because yeah. I'm I've got a lot of blue on me right now. Okay. Is, Almost certainly washing yep. out my hair, and you are bathed in red. Probably. Yeah. They can't be the same. I don't know. My white balance is always really strange. I actually wonder if it's some sort of bizarre limitation of webcams or something. Mm. No, that won't work. Because the coloration is always like a bit weird. You're right. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure yeah. what that. Well, I don't know shit. why I'd want to do that. I'm sitting here wondering why in the world I would have thought about doing that, and I can't come up with a reason. The simple wooden cross. Oh my god! I, uh, that man's wooden... like chameleon camo. I know. Like he I... jump scared me when he blinked. I genuinely, I thought he was a bunch of flowers at first. I was like, there's some interesting vegetation growing up the wall. Oh, that's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's the story that, of Swamp that, that, Thing. That's like the, the, the mid-movie climax of Aliens, which just happened to us. Oh, shit, look at these. Yep. Oh, these look at that. Smells like nothing no at all. Oh, okay, I lose. <laughs> Apologies. I lose. That's okay. Well, that confirms it. Game saved. Game saved. Those flowers. Is, does May that I mean we might one? die? Are you deaf and daft? Bugger off! Can I? A bullying hmm. old Harridan. There's no. Harridan. There's Harridan. no point in trying to speak with her. We okay. really need one of those hippie astrum flowers. Why? It's a long story. God, I don't Please remember. Please be able to get one for me. <laughs> Miss Fenchurch, so I can take. Wait, one. I know that we need to put one on the grave, but why? Why are we doing that again? So that she'll make uh, us to try to convince the widow. Sorry, it's just I'm so to make, worried. I think to feel better so that she'll be in a more generous why? mood. We were to run away together today. I see. I'm worried okay. sick that he stood me up. You hate to see it. Mr. Okay. Do we okay. know? All right. Okay. Wait. Do we know what happened to the milkman? Miss Tompkins. I still haven't seen him. I think that's do you it. think he's abandoned? Apparently not. I'm sure that's not the case. He must have been delayed somewhere. Could you try to find him for me, ma'am? Uh, Damn it. Wait. So now oh we're looking for God. milk and a milkman. We found milk. We found, my love. We found the milk. Try. Done with oh, milk. Thank you. This is okay. a kind. Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Dude, Bold Jamer says if this were Shardlight, they'd have a random person you met earlier get murdered by the guards here. <laughs> what is Mr. Ang? He's got brown hair. I'm afraid 
afraid I'll need a bit more <laughs> to go on. He's got <laughs> brown <laughs> hair! <laughs> Please find him, won't you? Hey, I refuse to provide Sorry, any Mitch. more description. Oh god, I'm just so fucking upset. Air, oh my god. Air. Oh no use. My god. Air portal. You know, uh, you know how there's shit that we say over and over because it's fun yeah. to say and yeah, it feels sure. good when you say it. Yeah. Could yeah. somebody out there please just make a supercut of like the shit that we say over the years? That would be like what's be a great. good what what's a good one? Um, this is the very model of a something 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 something. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 and like obviously this is the game. Like put every this is the game Time for a juicy yeah. into a supercut, please. And there's also do you uh, know Mr. Ambrose the milkman? I I do. Yes. Yeah, Isn't you know, there's just a variety. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it to you. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Hmm. I'm sure someone around it. Goodbye. Let me know if you get. Ungry lass. Good day. Oh, yeah. To buy some oh, yeah. Are you? I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my apples. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? Eddie? Aye. Have you seen him today? No. Well, maybe his milk's gone off. I hope so. Bye. Might mean some of his customers have some spare coin for me veggies. Ah. Goodbye. You know. Ah. Oh, 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 he might be dead, but I hope he gives me money. Oh, oh. Oh. Good day. Hello there. Oh, yeah. Do you know? I do, yes. Have I you do. any idea where he might be? He is no. usually here by now. So I heard. Oh, wolf. He normally arrives by the road so to the east of Bewley. Thank you. Enjoy your scotch egg. Road to east of Bewley? I'm enjoying right. my scotch egg. Which direction is mm -hmm. east? I assume to the right. Just the way it is in real life. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? I know Mr. Do you have any idea? I can't keep. I can't just keep saying Master Bateman jokes. It's not a joke. It's just a funny. I just can't keep doing it. It's just a thing. It's funny, though. It's funny. Dude, I'm literally going. Click and I'm just skipping because it is the full extent of a polite conversation. Hello. Hi there, lass. Hello. Do you know a Mr. Hello. Ambrose? Indeed, I do know him. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, there we are. Your shells are looking much more interesting now. I pestered mother for years to let me bring some of your treasures here. Oh. Those must be some of his earnings. <laughs> she has hidden most of your discoveries away. Jesus. I had to beg her to bring me to visit you, you know. I had to I beg the museum to let Do me you know steal this away. I have a story for each of these pots. Well, I don't know if they're all true, but they are my memories. Even though I was so young, and now I still finally they'll be pissed together. in once again. Would you like me to share my memories of them? Well, I'm going no. to whether you like it or not. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> this is what it's like having a pet for any of you who I... don't know. Sure, you, yes, like... you want to hear a story about this metal that I won playing a video game called Starcraft? All right, sheriff, here, come here. No. Come back, Sheriff. Sure, Sheriff. Are you in frame? I feel like her voice should be different. She's much yeah. younger, isn't she? She is. It's it's I find it a little we strange that it's the same voice. Lucky old barrow near Avebury. I think it was the second time. They should have just pitched it up. I remember you bringing it up to your face <laughs> to look inside and shrieking <laughs> just, in horror. That is a joke. That is not what they should have done. Screamed. No, they definitely should have. And they should have mm -hmm. uh, left the speed. Mother was so angry. Like made it speed up. This one home, like wasn't like she? Yeah. chipmunk. Just a little, like subtly chipmunk. Up all the space on the Slight chipmunking. Piece. Once you moved it to your study, I remember creeping in to take a peek at it. Uh, this is from the first I remember to the you taking of me to the excavation um, of West Kennet Long Barrow. I found it wedged behind a stone as you ate your sandwich. Oh, by the way, you said, have you two now, watched a tiny The Great? A tiny girl. No. I think you would, like, would adore it looks like The Great. Mm, okay, the great? I'll take a look at it. Yeah, no, I, it's, it's about Catherine the Great, right? Yeah, but it is just, it is told in the stupidest, funniest Way it is, it, 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 it it's called uh, occasionally a true story, like it is just so hmm. over the top. That's cool. Hmm. You, uh, I think for me, that show has been one of those shows board. where it's like, I would have loved to here's an ad for a streaming show, 
I mean, I, but like, so proud of it. But it, like, it's one like, more than I can keep track of, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's it's easy to get squeezed out of the brain. You were incredibly yeah. excited. And there's so much good TV. So much? That's the weird so thing. I'm happy about it. Too much I don't watch that much Hulu. You I think I just, like, entirely missed this. I thought, how I've started... could you be so excited over some old broken pottery? I have started just it unsubscribing to everything understood. except for one, and then just subscribing to watch, to catch up with a show, and then well, unsubscribing. It actually works really well. That's what I was doing for a while. I thought also, it's amazing that, like, I've been looking every once in a while at what she's talking about, and it's still just, like, completely... Yeah. Daddy, it was fascinating. I'm sorry, but, like... I've Let's just say we're having a really nice conversation about this scene is... I know, it's like such a funny thing. and documenting my own finds. Well, as soon as I'm I just can't get mother, comfortable sitting or standing. When you're feeling better, we can go out on expeditions together again, just like we yeah. used to. I Ooh. promise you'll get better, Daddy. I'll do whatever I it takes promise. to make it so. <laughs> All right, we're going. We're going out east to I find didn't mean Mr. To just talk. Rose. I did not mean to just talk through that entire cutscene. Dude, I was not helping. Like, it I started... mean, hey, have you guys seen the great? <laughs> oh shit! Can somebody summarize that for me, please? She. Looked uh, I'm gonna. At all I'm gonna start various... asking. She looked at all the pots. I'm gonna start and reminisced uh -huh. and decided that's what she wanted to do with her life. What? Here we go. Great. See, this is what I'm talking about. Whoa! Shit! Whoa! This is exactly okay. the shit this that I am cool. talking about. We got A24 all of a sudden. Good day. To help you. Do you know how to find pudding? Knife. Please hold still. I'm going to cut you free. This is cool. He had been so tightly bound that I could barely cut through without hurting him further. His mouth was stuffed full of flowers of a most peculiar scent. I could tell they were not the flowers I was looking for, so I was on my <laughs> way. I was dismayed at such savagery and wondered if the feral folk Father Roach had mentioned were responsible for this appalling. Father Roach act. and the feral folk? After some considerable effort, I managed that to That is not free. the feral folk. That is definitely townspeople, right? That's definitely some, like, uh, hot fuzz right? style shit. Oy. Yeah. Who were lost in visions of, of hell, of hell itself, the devil. I saw the devil. Who did this? It's a to really you? weird South I Korean movie. Don't remember. Oh, the terrible huh. sights I saw. I won't forget them the to my what? last breath. Are you Mr. Ambrose? I need I... you to help me solve a quest. Yes, yes, <clears throat> Edward Ambrose. You were to meet Miss Tompkins today. I, my love. Oh, my darling love. Let me take you to her. Existential yeah, terror in the Shire. As we made the arduous That's not how you hold hands with someone. Manor, this I is how you hold hands Mr. with someone. Ambrose on who had done this to him. Oh, sorry, I gotta click the button. He insisted that I he wish didn't that remember that anything had happened, like, except for his nightmarish visions. In the first play session. Because that was pretty I cool. Yeah, I know. I want this game to. I wish this game had started with Edgy. the scene at the start of Pulp Fiction, and then said, "Oh, that's some nice." Yes. What happened to you? Were that's you me. Now, but Fred, not look at enough. this guy. You're wondering. I you'd abandoned me. Look at this man. Thank your friend here for helping me out of the bind. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Let's get out of here. Helping me out of a bind. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You could you say I was on my. They wouldn't just leave me sight. alone. Uh, amazing. Oh, sticky where the sun don't shine, you bitter old sow. Awesome. Oh my god. I, the cheek. <laughs> Here you are, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Tompkins. Oh, wonderful. No, thank you for finding my poor Eddie. Happy Astro. Thank you, lass. Let's go, Eddie. I'm never setting foot on this godforsaken estate again. Fuck you and fuck you all. <laughs> I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> Proper fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> Elopers. Dude. Elopers. Uh, what were Elopers. you saying, Lee? Um, uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. 
it'll come back around. Look, my brain, my brain is a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a clothes dryer with a shoe in it. Like it'll come back. <laughs> and until then, you'll just hear it banging around. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know the. Um, I played this this indie game Stray, and um, it's not long. It took like about a day to beat, and like you know maybe yeah. six hours or so. And when I was done, I felt like I couldn't tell if it was a four or a nine. Like I really mm-hmm. couldn't tell. I couldn't tell if it was just like nailed what it was trying to do but I didn't get it, or whether its flaw was that it was not constructed in a way that allowed it to be understood easily. It was a right. little bit um, frenetic. And like, mm. I think about this with like some, well, I mean, th- th- this is like how tastes work, where there's like overlapping genres or genres that take pieces of things. Like, you know, when there's horror, I feel like horror has a mix of mystery that's like a really big part of it. What is that? What's that weird thing yeah. that's going on? Yes. Um, but there's also almost more so than action movies. There's like problem solving as a component to it. Like mm. ah, this mysterious thing o- abides by these particular rules, and therefore we have to figure out how to overcome the bad thing based upon the weird set of rules. And also, mm-hmm. there's a whole lot of like investigations of the human condition kind of thing. And I find that, like, in horror, there's there's almost, like, a foundational conflict that can occur with my expectations when I sit down to watch it, where I'm like, is this going to be one of those horror movies that's about the mood and the tone and the feel and how a supernatural event occurs that lets you really dig into someone's feelings? Like, there was this Nick Cage, mm-hmm. um, Colorado Space. This oh, movie yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like, I've, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, nothing fucking happens in it. It's just it's just a bunch of people going, well, this is, this is some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit. Dad, how, what, are you all right, Dad? I don't know. I have to shoot things with a shotgun. Like, it's just a bunch of shit happening to these people. Um, whereas, yeah. you know, a movie like The Thing also kind of has a cosmic horror side, but it's also like they need to figure this shit here. Or the color out of yeah. space. Color out of... What's it called, color out of space? Isn't it color out of space? Yeah, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's a Lovecraft story. Yeah, but there's also that movie, The Color Purple, and I sometimes mix their... um, It is not that one. Yeah. That's a different one. (laughs) I think it's called... I think it's called Blue is the Warmest Color, isn't it? I think it's Purple Out of Blue. Um, Via Aerial uh, Diffusion was the name of it. Uh, (laughs) Yes. The Hunt for Red October, I think. Yeah, no. I I have something for you. And like... You found him. Oh, you... Dear child. I'm ready to bake. Let's take them straight. Oh, you out. sweet babe. You'll come with me, won't you? Follow me, pet. Of course, Mrs. Deplancy. The plan. The flamsy. Got the plan. Somebody in chat pointed out that I had called her Mrs. Deplancy. You know, the things I miss <laughs> most about him are the things <clears throat> that used to annoy me. I've never had that happen before. Think of his before. jaw as he chewed his sandwiches. Yeah. His Even jower. his tools all around the house. Every time he pee, he flick of his sandwiches and he ate his tools. He's just quiet at home now. Silence. The funny thing is, that's what he always craved. Peace and quiet. He were a good man, our Albert. Sounds like he was. I'm so sorry. Bad Sounds hyena. like he was. Bad hyena says, You can still have the click of his jaw, lady. Just a bit of digging. <laughs> I Amazing. Hate this. <laughs> That's good. That's Put a good. little sandwich in the skull and clack, 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 clack. Oh, Albert. <laughs> um, oh shit! What, 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 what's what's the question? No that... idea. We have no idea what the prompt. Can for this someone get a is. clip? Can someone get a clip? Like what happened? What did she it's ask? The part in between that concerns me most. What an evocative dialogue choice. Like, what, what could this was possibly be in reference to? Oh, do you fear <laughs> yeah, death? Yeah, definitely go with the part in between. Go with the part in between. Oh, yeah. How about here? The part in between that scares me the most? Sure. Yeah. It's the part in between that concerns me most. Whatever do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> My father had an accident many years ago. Oh, fuck. Ever since, he's been in a state we can neither speak nor move. Oh, Nebraska. That does sound dreadful. I'm sorry, pet. I believe his mind Stop is still active, me, but perhaps this yeah. is the worst of all fates. 
To be trapped in one's own body and unable to express oneself while the world continues around you. But luckily he had you telling him all about each pot on the fucking wall. Do anything to make it so. These flowers look beautiful. Oh fuck. That will be smiling down on us. Pet, I'll let Smiling down on all of you like You'll find some big well puddings in there. Ooh. You can She delivered. Oh, you I insist. I insist. You brought an ounce of happiness into my day, dear. I hope the Bakewell puddings are just, just like um I return some. Thank they're you, just Mr. like Plancy. a boxed Did confection like Ego I, waffles. That's what it sounds like. I shouldn't be so Yeah, like uh yeah. You're nothing of like the hostess sword. cupcakes. There's yeah. some, 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 some Pillsbury Doughboys in there. Feel free to, to day, give them to Lord <laughs> Pinkle. Let <laughs> a Pillsbury Doughboy, Sean. A Doughboy is not a Pillsbury product. Wait, what? What? It's <laughs> it's the mascot. You don't yeah, eat a No, no, yeah, no. I know what but I said. If you no, did. I, but yeah, if you, you did, why doesn't Pillsbury sell like? Pillsbury Doughboys? Like literally, they're they're in like a tube, <laughs> and you kind of shake and just. Flunk and it just like falls out and it's got kind of like legs and arms and it's just like bake the Pillsbury Doughboy 400 degrees for eight minutes. Let <laughs> so rest it'd be one. It'd be one. It'd be one Doughboy per package. Like it's like one is enough for dinner. Yeah, yeah. And it's just strongly recommend eating it's from like, the it's legs. It's sitting inward. up. It's it's like oh, yeah. It's like in an L shape. <laughs> yeah, and it, you know it's kind of like hog tied in there with like little things or it's you know like the. What are the things called? Little twisties for the bread. Yeah. Yeah. It's like um, bread twisties. In there. Yeah. It's it's the it, size of a it's the size and shape of a real, of a human toddler. <laughs> you I mean, know, it, yeah, it's actually like a ten pound. It just, just but sits it's, in the side of your kitchen. But it's that uncooked dense dough, so it's just like yeah. a brick of a kid. You just boom, we like throw them on, it's, on the counter. It doesn't bounce. It just fucking. It's fucking you sit it. You have to sit it in. You have to sit it in the oven. <laughs> Damn. Like, yeah. There's like a little wait, bit hold on, of cause... cardboard thing holds him up so it just oh, gets yeah. the lumbar support. <laughs> Doughboy oh. Doughboy is a military reference, right? I think so. Do yeah. A Doughboy is a soldier. I think if I think if you got too many of them together they would uh they would try to take over a house. Yes. <laughs> Three of Mrs. I think the Alamo is made of a doughboy, isn't it? <laughs> you are an amusing creature, Tom. Oh, oh, oh. I can't help but be aroused at all times. Of the highest order for asking you to undertake that man has a three-pixel sideburn. I've lent you my men either way. I merely desired an excuse <laughs> to share a cake with you. Lord and to be a total knob. No Lord Hanswick. Lord. To fulfill my every wish. I haven't got a lord. Do I? I do not find this amusing in the slightest. This you guy's being no a total sax knot. what I had to go through to get these views. Oh, I do, I sax do. Not. And that's what Sean. I about you. Sax knot. Sax knot. Tenacity. Bucks. Even in the face of he does. something you know to he be does. absurd. His round little tummy. Give up, do his gangly you? limbs. Never. Mm -hmm. In this case, I ought to have. He's the only one around here with well, absolutely then, no will compunctions. You share one of these <laughs> tempting confections with me? Now is not the time, Lord Panswick. Now is not the time, <laughs> Lord Panswick. You disappoint. What the? That that is always a good thing to say. Rain quite as romantic as I do. Perhaps tomorrow, after your triumphant excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Jesus Christ! He's really just looking for his three minutes of glory, isn't he? Making a promise doesn't descend upon them in the meantime. Still, my word is my bond. Come with me to the chapel. I shall inform the chaps of their duties. If you don't mind, I'd Thank like you. to tell everyone that we went to first base. <laughs> Listen up. You're to assist. Keep it in your pants, Wick. That's so good. Thank you. Keep it in your pants, Wick. That's so good. You cake. I don't know how to pronounce you. Hobbs Barrow. You cakey. On the bright cake, if I'm not mistaken. We'll be there. Take your tools with you. Miss Bateman will need every assistance we can provide her with. It's no bother. Splendid. Thank you, lads. Now, if you'll excuse me. Do you think we have enough prices to go around? Thank you, Lord Panswick. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're finishing up here, Miss. See you tomorrow morning, all right? Uh, why are the flowers dancing though? This is like a Mario game down there. All right. 
Tell me well, it's time to go to bed. that's a relief to have my crew assembled for tomorrow. It's getting dark and cold. Time are we to fucking, are we gonna do this? Are we gonna get to the morning of? Plow and furrow. Plow and furrow, plow and furrow, plowing first and later furrow. <laughs> Dude, you know what my favorite part oh, is? There's an owl, I saw an owl. What's your favorite part? Listen to the game. Music. The game makes me walk back. Ugh. So, um, look how fucking creepy it is! Come on! Do That's you, pretty good. Did y'all see Sin City? Yes. Yeah. Where, um, Once. The, the parole officer, um, Marv's his parole officer with her hand cut off, and she explains that the guy ate her hand and made her watch, yeah. and. She says, she screams like, he made me watch! I think about that every time we're doing a lot of walking, <laughs> or I think about the designers, and I'm like, they made me walk! <laughs> like, and I, I, I don't know That's why amazing. I've never shared this. I've thought this for like like seven <laughs> <That's> years. <amazing>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I only. That's why I only saw Sin City once. I that was it was it was too much of whatever that is. Oh <laughs> man. Um. Uh, I appreciate uh, a modicum of whatever that is every once in a while. I like a bit of it. I like a touch of it. Miss Bateman, good fortune for her. Uh, I will. I will dip into it, uh, but not not extensively. Uh, I like I'll, it I'll as watch, a I'll watch climax. Climax. Exciting time for I'll watch I haven't Sin seen City. that. Oh, yes, I love Sin City. Very, very yeah. exciting. My dear, please. Visually, yeah, visually a Buy thing. A drink. A welcome antidote to the wind's bite. Wouldn't you say, Stanley? Yes, in Jesus Christ. Whatever makes you buy your lordship. Uh, it's been a long day. I think we should have a drink, right? It's been sure, a why not? <sighs> I'm 20% done guy... with the week, you know. I may as well just throw one Why back. Not? Splendid. Marvelous. Heard the fair lady. Slender Gator says this won't be poison. There you are. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone, Listen, raise your glasses. I promise. I promise that it's okay. poison. May she conquer Hobbs Barrow and find all that she desires. Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray! You don't wish to I did not think event. that hooray was coming. Oh, you go ahead, my dear. Alcohol does not sit well with my constitution. Thank you, your uh Oh, worship. that means I poison. That. I aim to provide you with whatever your heart desires. I've reminded my chaps there to meet you at Hobbs Barrow in the morning. Thank you again. It was Lord great Lord. spending time with my girlfriend. <laughs> This guy, Mr. Shoulder, I feel like Mr. all he Mr. wants is to doink, and then he's never gonna call her back anyway. Like he's doing so oh, definitely much work. Not. He's doing Hello, so much work. I've recruited the help of some local laborers to help with the excavation. Oops. Marvelous. When do we oh. start? Tomorrow morning, first the thing. The sun. Wonderful. Can I count on your assistance? Wonderful. Of course. Of I'll course, I'll blow you off before. again. No big Thank deal. Thank you for your time. Arnold Showdown. What I learned is that when you someone starts a project with you by not showing up for like six days. I thought you didn't <laughs> have you, want to excavate have you had that happen, Lee? I mean, I've definitely had the thing where like the first thing someone does is like not arrive. And then, yeah. Thank you. I mean, I, um, I remember there was a project at USC. It was uh, actually Henry Jenkins' class where like. Um, I got paired with, with three people that I didn't know because they were like undergrads. And I was in the group and I was like, all right, let's meet at my house tomorrow, 7 p.m. And I went like, great. And then like fucking no one showed up like at all. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, no, I remember. No, no one showed up, no messages. And it's like 7.15 and I'm just like, oh, I'm fucking like absolutely red-eyed. Um, and, and I just like sent an email at 8 and I, and I like, I was like, what the fuck? Where were you guys? Like no one showed up. And, and like no one responded. And then, like, the next day was class, and I showed up, and I was like, where the fuck were you guys? And I remember, I remember that this, that this one girl just, like, looked at me, and this other guy went, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I was like, well, all right, let's meet tonight, then. It's 7. It's a group project. And he's like, yeah, of course. It's like, all right, 7 p.m., my place, right? You have my address, right? 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 
No one fucking showed up. Like literally no show, Amazing. no message. And this just happened like four times in a row. But like every time. I was like, what the fuck? Sent an email. Let's meet at seven tomorrow, right? And they all responded, yeah, seven tomorrow. No one shows up, nothing. And I see him in class again. And I was like, dude, you didn't show up three times in a row. And he literally goes, ugh. Like he was like, ugh. Oh, I'm, I'm so frustrated by this situation. I know. He's just, you and I are both frustrated by this. Yeah, you know, because oh, I can't believe that happened to me and us. Well, I find that there's this 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 transaction that happens when you're mad at someone, where sometimes you say, "Hey, dude, where were you?" Uh, and you, you express some frustration. They they feel obligated to show a negative emotion like oh i feel sad or i'm frustrated or feel bad like i don't need you to do any of that i just need you to show up at seven right like I, if you went yeah it was my bad i'll see you at seven. Oh, thank god like you don't have to feel bad in front of me for me to think that it is a fair transaction but i find that some people just like they think that once they've done that they have they have completed it like dude i'm so sorry i hate myself I'm like i don't give a shit like are you gonna show up at seven like <laughs> right because we like Whatever degree you like or don't like yourself, like I, it, it's due on Friday, it's, and it's Thursday, so you're gonna show up, and like literally no one showed up again. So I just like I heard going to the press room being like, "Hey, I don't know how to I don't know how to get anyone to show up. Can I like, <laughs> what I, I seek your counsel? Like, what should I do?" <laughs> and, and and amazingly, now that I'm on this story, I'm gonna finish it. That like he said that well, since it's a written thing, um, like create a document, share it with me. Have it be blank at first and put each person's name above each section that they're supposed to write. And they'll just fill it in. And it, 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 in class at <laughs> one, and at like 12.58, it was my stuff and three blank things. And at 12.59, it was just like, bam, Amazing. bam, bam. And I was like, whoa, this guy has professed for Holy some shit. fucking time, dude. Wow. Holy shit, absolutely professored it. And it was actually pretty well written what they did. And that for some reason made me even more angry. But you didn't show up at seven. Yeah, four times no, that is like, that's infuriating. Fuck? Yeah, I I'm I'm really curious if this happens in IMGD and I just don't see it because I'm a professor and I'm I'm not like on that level. It gets hidden from me, or oh. I like I think truthfully, we try to impress upon our students that it is a really small industry and. A huge part of what you are developing in the program is n connections to your peers, um, yeah. and uh, like if if that were to happen, the consequences of that go so far beyond the grade that you got on one stupid group project, uh, yeah. because because your classmates don't trust you anymore, and. Yeah. Uh, you are going to be relying on them for the rest of your school career and then your actual career. <laughs> oh, yeah, very well said. Um, Dude, that's that's this, so articulate. That, that brings up another thing. and this So this goes for career and it also goes for polyamory because there is, in any polyamorous community, the, like, shit list, you know? <laughs> it doesn't get published. <laughs> I wish it could get published, but you couldn't do that without... You know, but there's like always a list. There's a whisper network of people who are like people you shouldn't date because they're scumbags. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, oh. But then what I realized is I have been um, in both career and, you know, dating and stuff. I realized that some of my people who are on my personal, you know, kind of shit list, kind of like not, not like I'm putting them down to others, but just like people I'm not, you know, I just think, oh, yeah, that person yeah. is whatever. And I realized it was like, because of something I had heard from someone else 10 years ago. And I was like, oh, I think this needs a, uh, oh, yeah. this, <laughs> this needs like a refresh. Like, yeah, this yeah, needs, no, like, I, was, they, like, I was talking about this with my brother, that there's stuff that I'm like, you know, I, I remember thinking about this and be like, God, the thing Nick did really pissed me off. Then I remember that you were 13. So, you know, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're 40 now. So I should probably like, you know, like you know, not be a jerk. I guess 38. Yeah. Oh man. People grow. I think every five years people are yeah. very different. Oh my God. Uh, Lawson Lyon says, I'm the guy that you hate, Sean, and I'm sorry. I only found out I had ADHD after university, LOL. And then Lebu oh, no. says, same what? here. I also apologize. I have no idea if you're telling the truth or not. But what we're going to do is we're going to assume that it's absolutely true. And let me just say, 
I apologize if it sounded like I was trying to point you out as some huge piece of shit. <laughs> because wait, I don't. I think you. it's theoretical. Yeah, dude. Or or I'm, or I'm not. guessing, oh, oh, I'm guessing this it person as... is like it's theoretical. Oh, like I was that person. Oh my god. No, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, fun... I yeah. But but it, 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 in the case that any of uh, said parties are listening in, they're like, I feel really bad. Oh my god, it's just, it's just kind of oh god, really embarrassing. Well, you know, I had, I had Henry Jenkins as one of my um, uh, advisors for my thesis, which I started my thesis project as making a game, but Day 9 TV was exploding and I was traveling a shitload and uh, I thought I was going to drop out of USC because it was just taking too much time. And the professors were like, dummy, make this thing you're doing your thesis project. And I was like, oh, that's actually yeah. a lot more sensible. And then like yeah. with like three weeks before graduation, you had to have your thesis signed by all your advisors, and I just hadn't fucking talked to Professor Jenkins in like nine months. <laughs> <laughs> I was so fucking embarrassed. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Oh, I was just like, "Hey, Professor Jenkins, can you sign this?" And he's like, "I haven't fucking spoken to you this year." And I was like, "Oh my god, shit!" And I called Adrian, and I was like, "Adrian." Uh, oh, what yeah, Adrian. oh my god! Yeah, I was like, uh, "Do you have any advice on what to do?" And she's like, "Look, this totally happens. You can actually like drop him as an advisor and switch to someone else who knows your project a little better, and I'll just handle it." And I was like, "Okay, thank you, like a whole bunch." And I like, I have felt embarrassed about that for fucking twelve years now, man. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I, a hundred percent understand that. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's like dude, dude, I absolutely just completely space on information like that. Where I'm like, yeah, with thesis, I have everything. I have all my ducks in a row. I show up to 7 p.m. on weekdays when I'm asked to. I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. And you get anyone's signatures? What? <laughs> Sign <laughs> What? Uh... <laughs> oh fuck, it was so bad, man. Yeah. And that's that's the last Henry Jang has ever heard of me, man. <laughs> so it's just like, would you would you sign yeah. my thesis? I don't even know what you've done it on. And uh you've been informed that you have been dropped from the advisory uh committee by the student letter. I'm like fucking oh shit, dude. Oh fuck. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, I must be up early to begin my escape. I love that. I love that. Oh yeah, are we gonna get in that barrow? Yeah, no, dude. Let's get in the barrow. I mean probably not. We're gonna have a whole morning. And there's going to be problems uh, of a suspiciously oh, non supernatural food. nature. I must be up early to begin my ex. Ooh, I'm going to order what? food. And I say, I say, go to bed. No. What? There's what is nothing else. No. What? I can't think of any. I'll leave those two. T what the fuck? I'm exhausted. I need to go to bed. Thomas. Cena. Arthur. Thomas Cena. Here I go again. Yeah, here we go. Meet me outside in the alley. Okay. First name Arthur. Last name. Any more donuts? Any more donuts? Fucking love elbow shoulder or whatever his name is. Mr. Shoulder. It's chubbier than I remember. Mr. Hey, well, Shoulder. I'm trying to get in shape. First of all, I must apologize to you. That night we met, when I vanished. Yes. 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 A hooded Whoa. man. He threatened me with a beating if I told you anything about what I saw. Oh, Arthur, that's terrible. What did you see? That's the thing. I hadn't the fog. A man idea what in the loot. It was a drink, you see. No, you're not, Arthur. Oh, Here's I would... what I need to tell you. I've remembered what you were on about. Oh? I, standing in the woods today, I knew there was something. I waited. I concentrated. And it finally came back to me. Please, you're keeping me in some serious... This guy has the same here. idle animation that I do when I'm at my standing a desk. Of days before that <laughs> Like, like I was doing this, and I was like looking at him doing that, and I was like, "Oh, oh, are you at your standing desk right now?" Oh yeah, I'm standing up. Yeah, he's standing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was because I was looking at the game feed instead of the Sean feed. I used to be. 
Sean was like thumbnailed. Getting worse by the day. Yes, yes. I'm constantly made aware of your failing health. Do not fear. You said he is Damn. You the reward of your return strength. <laughs> Who's he? he come soon enough. Uh oh. Are you sure that it must be her blood? Aye. Oh, oh god damn it. Family. And she gets here in two days. Blood. Aye. We must bring her to the site as well, soon as she arrives. Oh, that's so Okay. Long. Your lordship, with all due respect, we've been through this. Oh, fuck. We need to ease her into the idea. She would laugh in our faces if we just asked for it. Who said we would ask? He told me that she needs to give it willingly. This little scheme of yours better work, Leonard. It will, your lordship. We've got the perfect... Okay, so there's a creepy <laughs> deity who's gonna Please. give him... Who goes there? ...strength in exchange for the blood of Thomasina. That seems like... Yep. They really just said that, huh? They really just put that out there. Yes! A hundred percent! That's what the game I is! Mr. Tillett? Your lordship, let me... Save your words, you drunken wretch. Off you go, skedaddle. Don't make me ask twice. I will not be nice. You wouldn't spend so much time with that fool. Seeker says this is beautiful shade. Standard. I just sad, really. That dog I think that like they serve here has rather pickled the man's brain. If I was going to do this unfair, narrative, I would Mr. have that nice reveal man. be more oh, come now, come now. of a moment. Yeah. Instead of a just this to come between us. All the very best wishes for uh, your excavation to It's here. it is really I, I, Okay. <laughs> so I what I will say is that I think we are all having a difficult time deciphering the structure of this game as it happens. And I think that after this game is done, we will be able to reflect on the the plot and the pacing and be able to like say some things about it but right now like that it feels like that's part of the build-up it feels like we are we are doing oh, dreary okay. sort of like day-to-day -day tasks as there are an escalating series of obscured but uh concerning pseudo supernatural pseudo semi-horrific events kind of encroaching upon our everyday life yeah in a See, oh, in a way me, that i think yeah. is very gothic horror but to me that felt like the big tw the big reveal like the big twist. and if it, it turns like... out that was the big reveal then i will agree with you but i think that is part of the escalation like because what is going like on here doesn't that reveal like why everybody's weird to her or something or like i, I don't know it, it, and then and then it was presented in a way that's like hey how about that plot twist it's like yeah i know right yeah <laughs> uh, I think it's. I think it is like, Penswick has been acting weird from the jump, but here mm. is, here is some more weird reasoning behind why he's acting weird, and now we have a fucking, uh, you know, Roadhouse interlude. A la yeah, exactly. Road, yes, yes. Season Where, three. Like this you, is like. Thomasina is furious to be in it. She is not dancing. There's no bobbing. She's this just. Is, what in the fuck? That's, She's this is peak. This is peak James Hurley, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. A hundred percent. And and I think that this game is taking cues from like Twin Peak. It's not necessarily doing it perfectly well, but I think that's what it's trying to okay. do. I think All that's right. that's what it's yeah. aiming for. Okay. Interesting. Oh man. Yeah, I could see that. I could see. I could see so, that. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit escape. All right. Oh, to skip the song. Yeah. Okay, All that's right. fair. You can listen to that song on your own time, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but this is look. This is streaming. This is our need time. To keep it moving. This is our time. So yeah, you're well, welcome to be in the chat. But that is that's ooh, our ooh, mo moon. is that we move really quickly, right? And so like the moon, you like have to keep moon. up. They made me walk! Oh, we got him again. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Uh, my boy. <laughs> so, Tansina. What? The journal proves That's his... telling you the truth, does it not? It his does. His voice is... Good. Now listen. Oi. I can help him again. 
We can help him together. How? Give me blood. All those years ago, your father entered this barrow with the goal of binding me within it. All because the people of Bewley had gotten it into their heads that Sax not were the cause of their plight. I tell you, well, Sax not the cause of their plight after all. Your father <laughs> botched his incantation, leaving me in this weakened state, stuck in this limbo. And Power up the sax now. Well, you know how we ended up. This, this doesn't sound right. Incantations. My father was, is, a man of. You don't know your father, Thomasina. How old were you? A child of not even five, six years. You need to enter this barra and undo what your father did. The spell must be undone. This guy's then fucking not sick. Only will I regain my strength, but your father will too. But how do I? Blood. Oh. The truest symbol of life and death. It's the life which flows within you, but it's also death once it escapes. I don't understand. Worry not how you'll undo what's been done. When the time comes, you'll know exactly what to do. I'm giving my blood, 100%. Time is short. Your father and I grow weaker by the hour. Go. Save your father. No, I, I'm ready to do a spray and pray. Incantamentum! Okay, I actually fucking love that. I love me some sax knot. That was a good scene. I love that scene. That was it. Yeah. Scene up. A plus. Dude, you used to just light a candle Fox and just not. let that shit just like burn away and then just... That was that, man. It's fucking crazy in the coconut. I Hi. must undo yeah. what has been done. Father, Sh with blood. Coming. Shall behold the two made one. Sucks not. Listen, Thomasina. Right. Uh -oh. I'm gonna level with you. Well, no, <laughs> sucks not. This guy looks like he has never cleaned the top of a table before. <laughs> this, <laughs> the entire posture of his body is way too involved, man. Like, he has bones stacking bones pressing this rag into this fucking table, man. Good morning. Stanley? Ah, Miss Bateman. Mr. Shoulder left a note for you. Uh, it says, you, Psych, Mrs. Bateman. Oh, shit. Oh, there were a key with it, too. Were there? Hmm. Were there? There were twice in it. Brotherhood. Twirt, twirt, mate. Hit up, dip, dip, dip. We've got the small key. Miss Bateman, I beg you, in the name of God, oh. leave this town. Oh. Father Roach, what is the meaning of this? There's now for you here, lass. Clear Who off. the hell are you? I beg you, Miss Bateman. He, he's the guy that Don't yelled at us in the entry of Father time. Roach, Mr. Farnaby, here to wish Miss Bateman good luck for her excavation, gentlemen. Wink, head. wink. Mr. Kemp, you know, an excavation yeah, yeah. strongly supported by Lord Panswick, no less. Guys. I wish you well with your findings, Miss Bateman. Uh, ignore what I said before. <laughs> I'm sure everything's great. It's fine. Little Jesus. children, guard yourselves from idols. I want this well, amount American of idols. I want this amount of influence. I want Thank like you. this is a great game. Sean didn't review it very highly. Very well. I wish to find a game better than that. <laughs> like, I want that sort of I want Panswick power, man. P -p -p Panswick. I'm going straight to Leonard Shoulder's house. Because I'm here for con. Oh. Land of shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Douglas? Hello. Oh, look, that's inventory quest. It's just a toy. It the fuck? It's just a toy? Like, what do you have in it's, you? you have a lantern? What? Are you key? kidding me? You have these stones, you have, like, knives and chisels and journals. Do you journals not know and... you're an adventure game protagonist? Like, that's that's the next best thing to a ship rib. A wooden sword? Get out of here. A ship rib, baby, a ship rib. Rib, rib. Small box. What's this? Small box. What's this? There's magic in the air. What's this? There's music That's all around. It's locked. Yeah. It's a locked box. It's a lock. Why are we knocking on the fucking? I got your note. 
Oh, it could have been Explain anyone's yourself. node. Curses. Curses. Curse your Mr. Shoulder! Curse you to hell! The key fits. <laughs> oh my god! Do you know where that key Another came from? These peculiar Ab 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 my scene name Wait, is Ab Pa. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was the third man on my father's excavation? There's that a makes note sense. underneath. After my father and Mr. Ab. My heart is his heart. My light is his light. My shoulder is his shoulder. My elbow <laughs> is his shoulder. <laughs> Mr. Shoulder. Hello, hello. Dude, the Yaavuzel is the funniest thing that has ever happened on this show. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> all of us just yelling yeah boozle i mean that shit was one was... tin shoulder was... oh yeah yeah boozle was that good yeah well, uh, sean we, yeah we were all just Do you i think... had no idea what in fuck's name was happening in that game and it's just like yeah boozle do you think that that would be an incantation at the end of this game sean will it be as good as yeah boozle yeah i think it will so yeah. this is not is this the way Ooh. to the yeah that's right i said wow you can really up wait what this no there was a oh fuck wait what i can hold space what i said yeah. i only discovered this because my cat leaned on the space bar wait wait, wait. lean on me holy shit when you're gonna meow when what? you need some pets hello Oh, it's the other. It's the other building. It's the Is other house. Hmm, he's not answering. Striker says she's been trying to tell you for two months. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Look at your parallax. Dude, that was a traveling scene. I'm just gonna kick it after the show, lie down in my bed and parallax. Thank you for braving the weather. Ah, miss. Little rain is no bother. So, may we oh, start? Oh, no, then. Yes, we've not a moment to waste. Now, uh, where's the blood go, then? And so, the excavation of Hobbs Barrow began. <laughs> and I I'm hope. I'm so that excited. I want to hit this button and have her go. Afterwards, I took the pots back to town. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, what? But the, you, you, yeah. Where's the climax? We are absolutely going to get quickly, credits right we now. Their work Fuck with it. Care. We toiled for hours. They took all of my blood and put it into stones, a bucket. Removing more and everything masonry, came out fine. Put in place by Father, Mr. Bryden, and Mr. Shoulder. They had gone to great lengths to seal the barrow. Uh oh. I should have realized their efforts were not only to keep us out, but also to keep to something keep something contained within. in. That's my favorite fucking trope. Eventually, our careful application of pick, trowel, and shovel gave way to open space. Space. Pick, towel, and trouble. <laughs> A stagnant, cadaverous odor was let forth. Abracadaver. How you doing, Desperate? Okay. Dude, this cat is getting so When you chunky. hear the tone, turn the page. Beep! Oh! Whoa! It's us. We're inside there. We're the stagnant cadaver. There we are. Hey, don't mind my cadaverous odor. <laughs> hey! Whoa. Hey, Hello, Hello. Mm -hmm. What's oh. all this, then? The seal was broken. Hello! Or, or, or. Okay. I couldn't believe Is, my eyes. Are we building tension or? <clears throat> Splendid work, all of you. Step inside, miss. Okay. We'll be right behind you. Thank you, Horace. Just uh, go in there and uh, put your hands on the blade uh, sort of pyramid uh, thingy in the <laughs> middle that will serve as a bit of a sort of blood. A uh, sucking mechanism. Is that a hand? Flowers. I can't get my head around this. How can this is blowing my fucking mind. Here? Horace, come see this. We're gonna get closed in there. Yeah. Horace. Can I get some credits? Can I get credits tonight? 
Can we do Game this? Game saved. Chaps? I've been abandoned. Hmm. Achievement unlocked, abandonment issues. Oh, and the game is just like, all right, been abandoned, and in we go. Here Actually, we go. It's, it's time to okay. it's time to boundary Horace check. and company have departed. It would seem. Oh. I must carry on alone. I'm sure this will go well for Fairly me. Standard Bronze Age pottery. Smashed oh, to high fucking heaven. Fucking run of the mill shit. Not worth making a note of. All right, here we you go. know what? You know what's cool? Bronze Age bronzery. Oh, that's also pottery. I thought it was a hand. <laughs> A burial urn, perhaps, though there's no sign of ashes. An oh, no. do you remember in Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis when you fall in a pit and it's black and it slowly unblackens the screen as your eyes adjust to the dark? No, sick. but that sounds so tight. Yeah, that it's Sam. That sounds really rad. Is that one of those games that we played somewhere earlier in our lifetime? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the last eight fucking years, several genders ago. Oh, Sean Bouchard, I learned I learned a fact that I think you will love. Do you know what? Okay. Do you know what genre means in French? Uh, no, I guess I don't. Away. It is the same. It is the word for gender. Oh. That is. Pretty fucking rad. And what's its gender? Right? Uh, mystery, actually. Incredible. Which <laughs> unlocks so many amazing genders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Action. Yeah, <laughs> that is really good. The boards are held yeah. down by two large rocks. Right. Sean, could you please go deeper and deeper into the underworld here? Yeah, I'm just... alone, and I feel like this is the <laughs> sort of context in which I want to be digging deeper into the earth. So. <laughs> <laughs> could you just, yeah, could you just really get in there? Just really work your way down. Stakes have been driven through uh, the boards, them <laughs> There's a the sign place. that says, do not go deeper into the earth beneath. right <laughs> here. What choice do I have? There's a big skull yeah, crossed have? out. Oh, what are you doing? All right. You know, what else could we do? Uh, some uh, states, some players might... End, I'll keep... I can't remove... Might accuse them of uh, railroading us right now, but I, I don't think that's it. I think it's. Hmm. She's willing to look. I think that she's a wonderful protagonist in that she's willing to sacrifice everything to move the uh, game state forward. A passage. Father, I'm coming. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Good heavens, um, I'm arriving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Happy. Uh. That is not an original gag, but that is curses. a favorite. Am I out of paraffin? Literally curses. Well, no, 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 no. You're really. Wait, seriously? Thank goodness. Because what I was anticipating would happen is that uh, we would then have to turn all the way back around and go to town and just find some paraffin. And find some paraffin. I mean, this Yo. is so unwise. What the yeah. fuck is she doing? This is very Guybrush. Like, this This is where this game and Return to Monkey Island just... Like, she's she's under the monkey head, for sure. Oh, at my this moment. God. Sheriff, let me scratch his darn. My lantern went How? out for good this time. I do okay. I, I gotta no say, I really like this moment because as a player, I'm thinking about like, can I navigate back to the entrance of the cave with no visuals? Like I almost Step maybe could do it. Narrowed in every conceivable yeah. way, but probably not. Until I was on hand and knee, crawling through thick clumps of vegetation. I mean, the whole I had no choice thing, it's a little interesting, actually, because it's like, you know, it's kind of a... Literally, yeah. I click the button. Like, is she under, like, mind control? Like, there's definitely, like, hmm. a sort of mind control or, like, spirit domination thing going on mm -hmm. here that's very mm -hmm. uh, A24. Like, I think the the screen's gonna the light up and she'll be like inside some sort of a-frame cabin unnatural dude i i i think or that she's she... gonna be in a room just completely surrounded by those flowers yeah or yeah. hooded figures hooded figures are always big could be yeah. could be and then figures. um ouch um yeah the uh 
This cat really loves to shove her head against my head, and it's just, it's wonderful. Aww. But she puts her, her head into my ear and then snarls and pushes ahead like this. Like she just. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what a weirdo. I found why is her cat so weird? I don't know. She's fucking odd. They're weird, man. Yeah, cats are kind of bonkers, aren't they? They're a little bit kooky. So I, I strongly predict we are going to encounter a being that has a torch down here. That's what I think. I crawled for an age oh. until I emerged in a cavern that seemed lit by the very earth itself. I mean, I think we all crawled for an age. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey! Can you just wait for a second? Push... I gotta go get some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, she must. She's compelled. Okay, one second. She in the frog. I was compelled by my aid. Okay, I because I didn't get to say it at the top since we're we're sort of paused here. Yeah, hold on I just want to say I did the player. the uh, Galactic Star Cruiser down in Orlando, and it was fucking incredible. It was really amazing. Uh, and as a as a game designer, like thinking about what an ambitious project in immersive theater that was, uh, is I mean it's it's hard to describe because it's it it does a lot of things okay. that you see in I, other. I places do hope that we get some like, insight into like what might be compelling her at this point, dude. I, I'm also it's, okay it's with it. It's a fucking vague, ghost story. That there's a key. No, no, it's it's that it's that Leonard Shoulders letter began with "Would you kindly?" I think that's why. <laughs> uh, um, what is uh, this place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I. I mean, I feel bad talking about uh, a Halcyon now because it's all sold out uh, for the rest of its existence, but. Sure. Um, it really as like stone a combination so of loose. like dinner theater, uh, escape this... room, uh, like this... hospitality design and immersive theater, like talking with actors. I, it's, yeah. it, it was incredible. Dude. Shit. I'm not getting anywhere. Uh, and I, I have a lot of opinions on how I think it was poorly marketed. Mm. Um, Perhaps I can chip yeah. away because it is a tremendously expensive, uh, yeah, uh, like proposition. Um, but really, really worthwhile. Like I'm, I'm very happy that I did it. Well, the chisel uh, broke. But I think it, it was. I don't know. I'm sure it was hmm. difficult to, to find its audience. But... Into the stone. Oh shit, we have stones that look exactly like that. Yeah, and we only have three stones, so there's exactly six different combinations that we can... <laughs> so, get ready. I oh! I cause! Cause! Abba! This stone panel feels... Yeah, so we wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Abba, cause I am. Abba, cause I am. I are. Abba, I are, cause. Let me. Let's uh, try to actually do a solve here. Is it if it's anything like Alakazam or Abracadabra, the Kaz should go in the middle. But there's also like snake, chicken, person. Oh, I remember these. <laughs> Rho Theta Epsilon forever. Dude. <laughs> oh my god, when the Sun of Tumens meet, the Guardian shall be defeated. <laughs> I just couldn't not see that. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Do you want to just uh, continue with the rearrangements? Yeah. Or did we try them all already? I will pour out my spirit. Heart the I will moon, pour out stars my... and listen. Hmm, it just says I will bleed myself to death. I will bleed myself to death. I will I wonder what that means. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fucking brute force this. We're gonna put the last one in okay. first. And we're gonna go yep. sequentially. 
Okay. <coughs> was it a wrath I saw? So was was this the order that we did it in before? Not so this all. is Ayaz, Ayaz, Paw. So now we're gonna go, Paw, Ayaz, Ayo, Ayo, Kaz, uh, that Paul. This might actually literally be not what we're supposed to be doing. So I'm gonna go Ayo, and then I'm gonna go Kaz Paw. That's Paw. Paw pa, Kaz. A click. Okay. Okay. Incredible. Incredible. Bap. This is a uh, dig, dig type stuff. Yeah. Bap. <laughs> Clicking sound. These have oh. the same. These have the same One, letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can we just? Can you just spell out what we what we already Ten. spelled out with the other ones, like mm. I is pa or whatever? Oh yeah. It's got the same letters. I all I'm pa cause. Oh, all. I all. Ab. Pa. Cause. Cause. Pa. Did you do? Oh yeah. Did it work? I just, oh my. I just literally <laughs> the light. I ah, uh, I'm kapaz. Ah, uh. I'm kapaz. Kapaz. <gasps> Give me a fist bump, bro. <laughs> Curses. Well, literally, we are Indiana Bones. It's me. I'm gonna all out of. I'm all out of work. The calcum. <clears throat> This is some purple age shit Roman? right here. Looks more like Ancient San Francisco Greek? 1980s. Ancient Egyptian. Greek. This is something else. This is Northern English. Yeah. The soil feels as hard as rock despite this damp environment. And why is there a bathhouse down here? Whoa, whoa, dude, this is so good. Whoa, those arms. The figure is presenting what looks like a sheaf of wheat. Huh. Why does it have an arm wrestling door? Yeah, I it's, hope that I do it. It needs to hold it's some bad. swords. And then, and then it yeah, like, why? just dude. put an eye here and an eye here and have this be two big <laughs> teeth, right? It's so buff. Why are those, ar those arms are so buff? They're extremely buff arms. And then that Which jar is might, veiny. It will not open. There's a small hole in still, the front of the box. I'm still lock, so tickled by the fact that we ordered the stones by brute forcing, and then we just read left to right what the stone said and just did it again. It's so <laughs> yeah. it's so good. What is dripping down that wall? It is water. Uh, sweat. That is the sweat. He doesn't that is, uh, sweat. Because this okay. is the room of pumping. Yeah. Ice cold. <laughs> Beautifully ornate pot. This is the only one with a lid. Yes, definitely take the lid off the only one with the lid. It's sealed tight. Is there going to be a ghost in there? There's something rattling around inside. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. Use your trowel. Some situations do call Maybe for Maybe it's a force. rattlestick. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder if that was... There's something here. Oh. Made of wood. I shall use it. It will be good. It's a crank. Oh my god, it's another trowel. It looks like a crank handle. Oh shit, you got a handle, bro. I love handles in these games that you put into things and turn them. It fits in the hole. Let's see if I can turn it. It's a ship rib. Work it, work it. Yes. <laughs> Bop it, pull it, twist it. The box is full it's of a glowing food. briefcase. They glow in a most No, this is an arc. Manner. This is a... Uh, Yet I feel compelled this is to take a, um, some. Well, this is sure. how you get radiation poisoning. I feel compelled to take some glowing mm. seeds. Mm. So, dude, watch this. We're yes. gonna put this in here. They're gonna grow. The soil is too compact. She she stopped seeds. being an archaeologist for those. She's uh, farming now. Commenting on it. No, she's it's gonna fucking. Oh. 
full bore possessed here. She's yeah. she's a servant of the color purple. Of Uzel. She's officially gone full protagonist. Hold on, I'm gonna plant these seeds that I just got. There we are. You're gonna grow some wheat, aren't you? So let me go ahead and get some ice cold water. I literally know exactly what I'm doing, dude. This is like no problem. Now we are in our element. Hot with water with soil. Fuck yeah. Weed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Weed. A hundred percent. Squat with the weed. Oof. I. Am I dreaming? Quick, put on a loincloth. Alright. Okay. Now you put can it, offer the wheat. Put it there, yeah. Yes. Now you just yes. need a fishing pole. It, just it like fits. that. The wheat fits. The wheat, the wheat fits, fits in the hand. A whip. A whip. Well, you're going to need to skin a bowl. Empty. Well, there's a whip in here. <laughs> There's nothing inside these. Uh, Where look for some whip seeds. There's nothing inside. Oh. No. Right. This one has shattered to pieces. Full of whips. There's nothing but pot shirts now. These roots are strong and tight. Cut Ooh. them. Tight roots. I've removed a portion of the root. I'll keep it. Cool. Now do another it. one so we can use okay, it. So long with this crank, I'm gonna <laughs> attach the. Yeah, that's pretty good. Root and uh, ah, root crank. Great. Root Wait, crank. how did you fucking? Did you just? It's a little crude. Did you I just make a whip out of a way. root crank? Yes. Oh my god, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really good. I'm not just an archaeologist. I'm a MacGyver. I mean, yeah, for sure. Look at that door. That door is like mm. a, that is a main character at this point. That is a NPC Dude. door. Mm -hmm. That is a that door is sentient. That door has a yeah. name. Hello, that door I really in. enjoyed opening. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so much air. Um, I really genuinely think that building a door like this probably would have taken twenty years to debug. Right? Someone just <laughs> stuffs a bunch of corn in there. It opens. <laughs> Shut the door. It's not supposed yeah. to open. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, we're in, we're in Puzzle Whoa. City, Puzzle Topia over here. Substance. Substance. A thick, greasy substance is oozing from the broken pot. I also feel compelled to take I some of this the shit. I have faintest idea what it is. I don't wish to touch it. Good yet. In any other circumstance, this beautiful vessel would be one of my greatest finds yet. But I'm almost hmm, gonna hmm, die. Just an empty pot. Because I'm fucking beyond that shit right now, motherfuckers. I'm on another level. Do you hear me? I am down here in the purple nurple, and I am absolutely going full bore bonkers. Just completely. Just she has lost it, man. Thomasina. What? Thomasina. Hey, hey, it's Black Philip. It's Black Philip. What a ah, dost thou it. wish to live purply? <laughs> it's a it's a moon slot. <laughs> Oh fuck! Ah. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. Majora's uh -huh, mask. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. We do remain incredible. Oh. Hmm. I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. Eloios. Something in its mouth. A gold coin. There are no markings on wheat? heads nor tails. Dude, I want the whole game to be this. This is awesome. Crank, crank, crank. I know. I see, like, I definitely see, like, uh, seven heads. Yeah. Hmm. I can't move it. There's an inscription. Ioth. So, okay, so. Ioth. Hmm. There's an inscription. So here's E, I. Hmm. There's an inscription. Falthabaoth. Falthabaoth. Oh. For any of you that don't know, for some reason, HP Lovecraft um, wanted to be associated with cosmic horror. <laughs> it was Cthulhu and his brother Avathoth. Avathoth. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, like lots of Z's and T-H's, so E-I-T. Yeah. I can't move it. There's B-I-I Roman numeral. Seven from heaven. Hmm. There's an Intharthoroth. The devil has a fat tongue. There's Tharthoroth and... Can you move Arthur the, the mm. cranks? It's got every letter in the and alphabet. To, like, mm. match... Hello, Ace. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna just mm. look at their There's names real fast. Sa Sariel. Yeah, I... Uh, okay. My god! Hints from Alloweth. ...in a death grip on the handle. Who did this belong to? Oh. The fingers are icy cold. I've managed to pry it off. I'll I, put it in my inventory. I keep it? <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah, dude! Keep it. Keep it. That's where we are. It might come in handy. The hand is dry and withered, <laughs> like beef that has been left to age. What happens if I do this? Beef left to age? Wait, what did you just... Sean! This crank is jammed. Sean, what yeah. are you... I'm wiggling it, let me just... Ugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> so one of these won't budge. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just make them all fucking look at me. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're doing the Thomasina. <laughs> All right, what's the one that couldn't move? This crank. So this is how we're going to determine which one. I can't crank one. it. Oh, are they moving? Yeah. What so... are they doing? Oh, they're they're turning. Hmm. There's an info. So what what direction Buffalo. do you think this one is facing? Uh, I think it's facing left, because it looks like a weird turkey chicken to me. Huh. So I think we need to get them to all face a certain way. I don't know. Whatever was once placed here is long gone. Plinth. That's an absolute textless word if I ever heard of one. Empty. Empty. Falthoroth. You're gonna walk into a room and there'll just be a bunch of people dancing with the headphones mm. on. Characters, perhaps Greek in origin. I pay I like Anna Abba. Perhaps, perhaps Greek. Abba now, Anna Abba. <laughs> Abba say, Abba now, Anna Abba. Mm. Mm. Uh, excuse me, can I get uh, as an appetizer in order of the it's Anna a Abba? DNA code for a very small creature. <laughs> oh yeah. I love how the, the goat's like, fuck you, much. and the two are like, please <laughs> take this, and please take that. Don't fuck put us. The, put the gold coin uh, in the slot. Astonishing. An ancient device. Oh. Oh, it's a device. It moves a fraction. Is that what it is? You need a crank? And me without my aura calcum. That doesn't fit the... A thin rod with tiny notches along the shaft. The head is adorned with an aroboros. It's a ship rig. Aroboros? A hinge pin. Aroboros? That has Aroboros. never been pronounced that way. It's a aroboros. Yeah. The rod doesn't seem to fit here. I can't quite. I can't oh, quite... motherfucking Microtor. Alright, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna put the coin okay. in, the, in the hole. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. This is when the disco the ball turns on. Went in. Hmm. I don't think anything happened. It's a hinge pin, baby, a hinge pin. Hold on. You have to break the vase to get your coin back. The man is yeah, presenting that's how they get a you. small, rounded object. A coin. This figure makes my skin crawl somewhat. What exactly is it? Oh, it's it just a little weirdo. Just a weird guy. A weird one. A remarkably accurate depiction. Just something that must standing be so cat. Ancient. 
All right. Goat's gone. Goodness me. Oh shit. Ugh. Herbert. It's Herbert. Who's Herbert? Who's Herbert? What madness. The is cat this? with the great animation from the What start madness again. be thy Herbert? Oh yeah, Her Herbert. The statue bears no moving parts or secrets, it would seem. Wait, this statue oh. has no oh, secrets. Oh, cat. Herbert. Mm, a writhing mass of serpents carved from stone. On okay. the reverse side is a thin notched shaft. Yeah, it's to go into the it's thing. It's an right? Ouroboros. Perhaps it goes in the Ouroboros. What on Ouroboros. earth are you doing down here, you silly cat? Did you find You silly me? goose. You silly cat. He's absolutely starving. You know, you might Feed like the hand. severed hand, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Mm. <laughs> you gotta hand it to him. Well, you know, beats kibble. Oh my god! Bones and all. This is the fucking game, guys! This is the game. Blark. Ghastly. You got your coin back. A gold coin. He has wares if you no have coins. On heads nor tails. Oh. There is a queer heat emanating from the stone. Ooh. Oh, queer heat! Oh, I think I've seen that one. Uh, yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling a little, a little queer heat in here. Oh boy. I. Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Nothing of note here. <laughs> Pseudo Panda said that's one way to bite the hand that feeds you. That's fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put the coin in, and then it's time, I think maybe, to save the game. Because it's nine. This is all a very way complex way of. I assume. Something stirred within the plinth. I should take a closer look down there. Abba Anna. I should. But I didn't. Out from the plaque. Perhaps I can push them into Ugh. mana. Oh god, how many times do you have to spell the same words? Ab. Ab. You fucked it up. John, can you put a banana? Ab. Banana. <laughs> what was the words that we spelled? Wait, can you just. Can you just make the first one be Abba and the second one be Anna? Abba Abba Banana. Uh, A B A. Wait a minute. There's th there's four shapes here that don't belong. This, 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 and this. Oh, All nice. right, that's oh. our show for the night. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, oh, yeah. I see. Th there's two of these. There are two of those. So these are the ones. There's multiple that Bs. I have no... Oh, about the, the P? P? I'm fucking so good. Yeah. Hey, what's in there? This must be Dude, important. that that looks like it goes in the crescent-shaped slot. Because front. front. A thin rod with tiny notches along the shaft. The head is Fuck adorned shot. with a coiled serpent. Okay. Dude, I love. Actually, um, for any for any who've beaten the game, if we had ten more minutes, should we keep playing or should we wait till next week? If if, if the game is beatable in less than ten minutes, twenty, 20 minutes. minutes. All right, we'll see minutes. you next week, everyone. All right. Well, yeah. there you go. Yeah. yeah fuck no, it. I mean, I gotta say. You've waited this long. This shit. Picked the fuck up. I'm this into this. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. I like this part. And let's go. Let's go ahead and quit and see if we can get that awesome. Oh, it's one of these games. It's gonna fucking break my layout, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa. Woo. I hate when games do this. When the quit button just literally closes the entire game. Hold on, everyone. We're not done yet. We're 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 hanging on. We got Hold a on. debrief. Yeah, we got a debrief. Everyone stay here. I can't show you Bob's what I'm looking era. at because it'll, it'll dox me. <laughs> We're 
Randomino5 says, I like when it turned into one of the greatest adventures, adventure <laughs> games of all time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, I mean... Maybe it's because I'm a gamer, but I like gameplay. Like, what we are doing now is gameplay. We are like... <laughs> Wait, uh, how, why? How so? What do you mean? <laughs> really? No, really, like, 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 in terms of gameplay, because the puzzles are more external? Yeah, because they, they are explicitly or symbolic. Puzzling. Yeah, like, the thing is, the, the gap between um, things when we were in the overworld area, I guess is a strange name for it, when we were in the town, there's a lot of like, oh, hey, we need to find where there is this red flower. So we walk to 15 screens and we find it. And it's just like, please find Mr. Ambrose. All right. Talk to a person, talk to a person, talk to a person, talk to a person, talk to a person. Oh, he's out east. Go east. There he is. Boom. Go back. Like, it feels like a two-step puzzle with like 15 steps of just wandering around. But like this. I I think, mm, I'm, I'm really curious if that has more to do with the 15 screens of walking around than it does with anything else. Yeah. Because I think. Yeah, it I does. Think the, Straight up. Okay. I, but that to, to me that's not like gameplay. Like how is that how what, how is the difference between those two things gameplay? I'm not weighing in. I think that the this we entered a section where surprise surprise they cut down the number of available locations. And incredibly, that makes the puzzles shorter and tighter and oh. more interconnected. I'm sorry, and the, the right word is puzzly. I like okay. a very mechanically puzzly, like adjust this and move this and push these buttons and slide these around, which I shouldn't have said gameplay because you said that and I was just like, yeah, that's basically correct. That, that's not even an accurate word <laughs> for what I feel like is the change. But I like when things are very like overtly puzzly. Like, that's one of the things I liked about the dig, where it's like, here's yeah. a bizarre contraption. Shove rods and holes and pull them out and shove them back in and pull a thing and boom, a door opens. I don't know why it sounded so graphic when I was describing the puzzle, but like, um, dude, shit's happening. We're getting into some mystery. There's a lot of crazy imagery. We've got some puzzles. And like you also say, the density of puzzles has gone up. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah, that's real good. And and a hundred percent, there is this like really steep ramp on the weird shit going on, right? Like yeah. it slowly escalated, slowly, slowly, slowly. There's a strange cat, yeah. and now there's a like weird dream, and now there's like some sort of bizarre blood conspiracy, and now we're in a fucking temple underneath the earth inserting gold coins into weird yeah. puzzles and like encountering goats and like yeah no that's a, it's it's a dramatic um change in the pacing of that weird shit which is i think that's that is the genre right like it is slow slow yeah. slow slow dramatic escalation i don't think that this quite nails the pace of that and to be fair, like we, the way that we play it, it drags on a lot longer than <laughs> probably most people. Sure, fuck uh, it is. But yeah, no, a hundred percent. Lee, uh, it's time to weigh in with this great audio track running in the background. Fuck. Um. I don't know. I'll just say that, like, as soon as you get us, our little. Yonic puzzles where you're like sticking there's always like there's always sticks and holes and then there's always cranks that need to be attached to levers yeah and then there's always coins and slots and once you get us going on that especially once you get us going on ab dab and gabab sort of shit <laughs> like then now we're in now we're in our element and I think that's great I think it's a uh, weird new genre of game we've unlocked inside this game but <laughs> but it makes sense because like you know she's a archaeologist and stuff but it just feels real good to get out of that little town and say that 
there's there's uh, a little note I want to share as well, where I think that we're at the climax. I think that we are about to broach into the... Ow, excuse me. Um, I think we're about to broach into some awesomeness. Finishing the game. Probably next week. And you know what game we're going to start after that? Firmament. Is Firmament? Firmament? Oh, yes. cool. Firmament, Excited. baby. Firmament. Excited Firmament. about that shit. God, I cannot wait. Um, Yeah, that's exciting. Do you think it'll be more like Mist, or do you think it'll be more like Abduccione? I have no idea. I'm going to go in with no expectations, but I sure hope there's a lot of contractions. Yeah. That's my hope. I hope it's, I hope it's dialogue heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. All right, yeah, I'm gonna rule. go too. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go eat yeah, a taco salad. Bye. Yeah, Bye. 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 Bye.